this is El Shaddai's Amazing Grace, also known as God's Amazing Grace, and this is a prayer for a miracle. A miracle, by its very definition, is an event that cannot be naturally explained. God continues to work miracles in people's lives. He remains constant throughout time, unchanging. While he himself does not change, his power transforms lives and alters situations and circumstances. The Greek term translated as miracle is dynamis, which means power. The origin of every miracle lies in divine power of God. This is why during prayer, the focus should not be on oneself or others, but rather on giving all attention and glory to God for his wonderful deeds. It is the divine power that brings about miracles and by directing our gratitude and recognition towards God, we open ourselves to receive these extraordinary blessings and miracles. For it reads in Psalm 77 verses 14, you are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. God the Almighty, beginning and the end, is the miracle working God. What seems impossible for us is possible for God. You are listening to me today because you are alive. That in itself is a miracle because tomorrow is never promised. Miracles can occur in any circumstance, whether you're seeking divine intervention for a job interview, finances, business, job education exam, or even a critical life or death moment. Whenever we find ourselves in need of a miracle, we can turn to prayer. It's essential to note that miracle prayers are limited to life or death situations. God answers all prayers in his own time in harmony with his will. When we read Jeremiah chapter 32 verses 27, it says, I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is anything too hard for me? When we then go to Matthew chapter 19 verses 26, when Jesus spoke, with man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Then when we go to Mark 11 24, it says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. And finally, when we read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 18 to 22, it says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not treat prophecies with contempt, but test them all. Hold on to what is good. Reject every kind of evil. These scriptures are the keys required for a miracle. Righteousness, faith, gratitude, and remaining in God's will. The first miracle is in the word of God in Genesis chapter 1 verses 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The second miracle is in John chapter 1 verses 14. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and truth. Many more miracles such as Isaac conceived by Abraham and Sarah at an old age, 10 plagues of Egypt, Daniel delivered from the lion's den, Jesus feeding the 5,000, Jesus raised from the dead the 12 year old daughter of Jairus, a ruler of the synagogue, healed the blind to see, how much more until you understand the power of the almighty God. Scripture gives us the authority to claim our miracle in God's will. We just have to be aligned with the word. May you receive your miracle right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So right now we are going into prayer and as we are going to prayer, if you agree with everything I am saying at the sound of my voice, everything will manifest because when we read Matthew chapter 18 verses 19, it says, again I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Our Almighty God, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the head and not the tail in heaven. You are our deliverer, you are our healer, hallowed be thy name. You are mighty and you reign in power. God, I'm excited for the day to come when all rebellion is destroyed and your reputation is vindicated so that the world will see that you are the one God whose name is above all. Forgive us for our sins and may the blood of Jesus wash me and whoever is listening in agreement to this prayer so that our prayer is not hindered by sin. I clothe myself spiritually with the armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the shoes of readiness that come from the gospel of peace. And I gird up the lines of my mind, for we do not wrestle with flesh and blood, but with the powers of darkness in the supernatural sphere. May the blood of Jesus be a hedge around my soul, mind and spirit for protection. And to anyone listening who is in agreement to this prayer, 
I take my authority given to me, fire by force to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt me or anybody else who is listening in agreement to this prayer. For if God is with us, nothing can be against us. So right now, I call upon the thousands upon the thousands, upon 10,000 times 10,000 of angels to come to our defense, to join us in this spiritual battle against principalities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, in Exodus 14, you demonstrated your immense power by facilitating the safe passage of the Israelites across the Red Sea, parting the waters, allowing the Israelites to cross on dry land, and then closing it back up, submerging the Egyptian pursuers. God, may every path in our lives be open and clear for our miracles to come, and may the enemies that are pursuing us be washed out of sight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Jesus, the God of miracles, knowing that today you will perform miraculous signs and wonders in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare the door of misfortunes sealed by the blood of Jesus right now in Jesus' name. I shatter every form of delay, hindering the manifestations of our miracles, signs and wonders in our lives right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any individuals or forces attempting to obstruct our miracles, signs and wonders be consumed by the flames of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil power whispering in the realm of the spirit to say no to the miracles, signs and wonders in our lives. God says yes. May that evil perish by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every tie, polluted objects and items between our lives and family lives, not allowing our miracles to manifest, break by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command the gate of favor to swing open and remain open for all of us in agreement of this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May miracles, signs and wonders that bear witness to God's presence begin to manifest in our lives right now in Jesus' name. Miracles of healing fall upon us right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Any sickness declared by any health professional in your life, I reverse it with the blood of Jesus for you to now receive your divine healing in Jesus' mighty name. For it reads in Isaiah chapter 53 verses 5, But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. May miracles of job and business opportunities fall in our hands at the speed of light in the mighty name of Jesus. And may miracles of blessings rain upon us in the name of Jesus. For it reads in Psalm 77 verses 14, You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power amongst the people. May we begin to experience this in our lives through testimonies that glorifies your name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May our lives shine with testimonies that radiates your glory across this world. May the truth of your word manifest in our lives to bring back anything that has died for truth, blessing and miracles in Jesus' mighty name. We welcome miracles, signs and wonders into our lives to prosper us, deliver us from evil and give us everlasting joy right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the breath of God, may life of miracles, signs and wonders manifest to prosper us, deliver us from evil and give us everlasting joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you almighty God for our miracles. You have done it again. We are free from bondage of the enemy and we are under your tent of grace. Thank you for your word, your teachings, the truth and the life that you've given to us. Thank you for the everlasting testimonies. Thank you for changing our story. Thank you for doing the impossible miracles that man could not have done. Thank you for letting us experience your power. Thank you for electrifying our faith and demolishing our doubt. I seal this whole prayer with the blood of Jesus. Amen. So we have come to the end of the prayer and the word I will leave for you today is Job chapter 5 verses 8 to 9. But if I were you, I would appeal to God. I would lay my cause before him. He performs wonders that cannot be fathomed, miracles that cannot be counted. Keep praying, stay in faith, and stay blessed.